Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the 981 GT4 diffuser right here into my Cayman S right here. So let's go and tackle that really quick. Well, the main reason why I want to install the GT4 diffuser into the car is simply that it was going to give the aggressive look on the back end of the car. Now, if you know the GT4 is a very aggressive car in terms of looks on the front, on the side, on the, on the back, but the Cayman S is not. So one of the things that I want to do is kind of like make this car kind of look like a GT4 without having the GT4 badge because this is not a GT4. So that's why I have this diffuser here to go ahead and install it. So kind of like give the aggressive look because I really love this diffuser and I love the way it looks. It makes the car just feel more aggressive. So to install it is fairly simple. Let me go ahead and show you the process. There are six screws that you have to remove. The first one is right here. These are T30. Again, another one right here. And then on the other side, exactly in this same location, you have another one, which is like right there, two more. Then on the exhaust here, you have one more screw. If I can point my head right here. You have one more right here. And on the other side, you also have one right here that you have to remove. All of those are T30. So let me go ahead and remove those six. And after that, show you the clips that you have to remove on behind the heat shield and then have the diffuser completely out. I went ahead and removed the diffuser. So literally, this is how it, it is. So the T30 will be right here and right here. Then you have those other two T30 that will be right here and right there. Now, these clips, in the way to remove it is simply, you put the screwdriver, after you move the shield, you put the screwdriver and push this down. And then while you're pushing down, you're also sliding this outside and it's gonna remove this. But the first step that you have to do is simply unhook this part right here from the back of the car. So you kind of like pull this and it's gonna remove. Once you remove, usually this first clip is going to come out as well. Once you remove that, keep doing everything on one side, then do the same thing on the other side. Now in the middle here, this is the part where I spend the most time because this clip right here is totally different than these one, as you can see. Now, this clip right here is totally different than like this one, as you can see. So in order to remove this one, you literally have to remove from the outside, not under the car, but outside. So what I've done is I've used this and then I kind of like put it in there and then pull this outside and it came out. Now this clip right here, you literally push it from the inside there is a hole here, this hole right here. And then you take a screwdriver and just pull this up and then pull the whole assembly out. So it came out all in one piece. Pretty much what I have to do now is first compare, make sure that everything is here. And right now, from the back when I look, I see that I'm missing this one right here. It's like it's broken. Maybe the person I removed it did not know how to remove it and broke it, so yeah. But even without that, it should be fine. Now, this clip right here, make sure that you have that little piece because that's where the T30 on the middle will sit and it's right here. Now, one additional benefit when you have the GT4 is that it gives you an additional heat shield here that's gonna protect the exhaust from the back and also the difference when you turn to the side, you see that you have these little fins that are missing from the factory one because on the factory, you simply have a hole here. Now, I like the GT4 also because it kind of have the extra thing that pushes out on the diffuser and it just looks super sexy. So let me go ahead and install this. It's simply going to be the reverse mounting everything and then putting all the tabs, align them and putting back the T30 screw. So after I do that, I'm gonna show you how this one looks on the back of the car. This is the finished product and it looks so, so, so nice. It's definitely poking and giving that a little aggressive look on the back right here kind of like a race car. This is what the GT4 is about. Definitely looking very, very mean. I'm gonna take pictures of the car when it's clean and when everything looks so nice, but the reinstallation process was pretty simple and it just have, you have to start on the middle here and then start putting everything on the side and on that side, put the T30 screws, 
two in here in the middle and two on that side and also two on that side and now you have everything looking so nice and sharp oh my goodness this is so beautiful so let me know what you think man about uh, this and the finished product so on this note thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye